What's up ladies and gentlemen, and in this video we're going to be looking at something that came up on my newsfeed, unfortunately it's from The Guardian, called Nigel Farage Portrait Fails to Attract Buyers at Art Show. And um, I haven't read it yet, but from what it looks, um, poor old Farage didn't uh, get a, a picture sold of him. He didn't do it, I don't think, I don't think he's got that much talent. But one of um, Jacob Rees Mogg fetched £150, that's a nice little honour. So, um, let's go into this article, it's from The Guardian, like I said. Uh, Nigel Fry portrait fails to attract bars at art show. David Griffiths, Griffith, this, however you want to say it, painting of Mr. Brexit, unsold, while Jacob Rees Mogg works fetches £450 there, which is quite a nice little honour. A portrait of the former UKIP leader, Nigel Farage, failed to attract a single bid at one of Britain's most prestigious art shows. I'm not surprised, I mean, look at it, it's fucking ugly. I mean, Nigel Farage isn't exactly the best, you know, muse or, you know, subject to paint because he's got a flappy neck, but, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know why there's a picture of a uh, pink panther there, that's what you're going to put people off. The painting which shows Farage in his trademark purple striped tie was featured at the Royal Academy's summer exhibition. The work by David Griffiths was priced at £25,000. £25,000! I'm not, I'm not surprised he didn't sell for that much. That's ridiculous. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Twenty-five grand for that. That's crazy money. It's fucking stupid. No one's going to buy it for twenty grand. I've, I've, the picture of Jason Re Jacob Reese Mogg for fifty. Yeah. Picture of Nigel Farage's flappy little chin. No, thank you. But failed to attract any interest. Farage is plotting a political comeback after stepping down as UKIP leader in November 2016. He is to join the Leave Means Leave campaign to challenge Theresa May's plans for a soft Brexit. Griffiths, who other well-known well -known subjects include the Prince of Wales, said he was not too disappointed for a portrait not sold. These things ebb and flow, he told his son. Processes of painting, like everything else, aren't set in stone. It would certainly be gratifying if Nigel's portrait were to find a good home. Probably no one's going to pay it for 25 grand for a picture of them. The idea of painting Farage was suggested by a mutual friend, Griffiths said. Probably not a friend anymore. I mean, that probably took a long time to paint. I mean, that painting there, I don't know, I'd say like under a grand, probably about 800. Uh, idea of painting Farage. But, uh, he, he is a major figure with whatever you think of him. He's Mr. Brexit, isn't he? Uh, well, if you say so. Well, he was Mr. Brexit, he's the one that fucking pushed it forward. At the same show, which was curated by the artist Grayson Perry, a painting of Paul by Paul Steady up to Brexit here, Jacob, Jacob Rees Mogg sold for 450. And I have a picture of that painting right here. And that's pretty good. I like that one. 450 for that, yeah, I'll pay for it. So, yeah, big up there. Anyway, I might be doing some more videos on like art, because like, my, my, I ain't got many subscribers on my channel, I think I've only got like 10 or 50 or whatever. But um, it's pretty fucking gross to go on, so it's pretty smutty. So um, I'm probably going to be doing this with, like funky art, sort of like critiques of like shitty art people and just general art commentary in general. Anyway, that's the end of my video, it's only a quick one, but thank you for listening and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.